I'm going to be teaching you how to work with configuration so that we can customize our MTD plugin to have a custom message. Hello everyone, Zarkon here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to customize our MTD plugin a little more just so that we can get customizable messages. So, what we're going to do in this uh, on enable we're gonna go ahead and do so right so one of the things with Java plugin is that it's got something inside of it that allows it to have a config I'm not gonna go through Java plugin because it does a lot of code but basically it's got these function called get get config save config and reload config we're gonna be using the get config for now and we're going to be using save config and reload config in later on in this episode. So what we're going to do in the on enable, we're just going to do get config dot options dot save. No, oh hold on. Dot get. No, hold on. I gotta remember this. Get config dot. Hold on. Oh my god. I I should know this. Dot get defaults dot no. Okay, no, it's not get config dot options dot save defaults no hold on oh copy defaults copy defaults true there we go then we're going to want to save the config so that's done that's basically just made a config file that's inside of uh, the plugin folder or the plugins folder inside the servers plugin folder so now we're going to want to create a new file which we're going to Instead of like the plugin.yml, right click on MOTD, we're going to right click source new file. If I can find it, no, I can't find it. Um, there's something has happened to my Eclipse that I do not know of. Show in Package Explorer. Ah, oh, it's Package Explorer, that's why. Okay, yeah, that's, there we go, there we go. So now we just want to create config.yml and then close this down again. And then we're just going to want to make it so MOTD dash message. Uh, we can use colors, so I'm just going to use and a um, welcome to the server at player, percent player, sorry. Okay, so that's done it. Basically, we're going to make this allow color, so it's going to be colored in light green. This percent player percent is that we're going to use the code to replace that with um, the actual player's name so let's get straight into it here so on player join what we're going to do p.send message we're going to replace all this actually no we're going to string message equals get config dot get uh, string um, motd dash message and then string color one equals message dot replace actually what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna try this string message to send I don't know why I call it that but mess uh chat color translate alternate color codes that 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 so basically you're gonna wanna put it in single quotes because otherwise it's not gonna work because it's a char not a string so chars are only in single quotes so yeah string text translate is also gonna be message then what we're going to do, we're going to go back into here, delete what we've already got in the send message. We're going to send the message m2s dot replace all percent player percent and replace it with p dot get name. There we go. That should be done. There's an error. It's probably my fault because I'm trying to do it using chat color, which I never normally do. So. We're just going to hope this works, and yeah, we are going to probably end up changing the config just to show you that it does work. So we're just going to export it here, and then reload. So I'm going to attempt to leave and join the server. I hope it works. Please work. No. So basically what's happened now is that the translate alternate color codes has used A as like a sort of, like it's gone A, and oh, it's welcome. So it's trying to translate it into a color code that doesn't exist. So what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to replace M2S. So this is going to be the very last line. So we're just going to leave this out for now. Just put a semicolon so it doesn't error. So string message2 equals message.replace all 
uh, and with Alt 21, which and Alt 21 creates that weird section sign, which is basically color codes, which I'll just show you. Oh, I don't think you can use it in here. No, you can't use it in here. But yeah, color codes don't work because default Minecraft's a bitch like that. I don't know why. So M2S is message to to dot replace all. Now we're gonna want to double it up because I don't know why. So don't forget the alt color. The alt code is alt 21 and we're going to want to replace it with that. Hopefully this works now. If it doesn't, I'm going to cry because this always works for me. So we're going to export it again. And then slash reload. It's reloaded and we're going to join the server. No, it's still welcome to server. Okay. Um well, it's glad I'm glad to know that the Thing still works. Um, that's actually pretty awkward. Um, I'm gonna have to look look back quickly at some old code. So just bear with me quickly here, guys. I'm just gonna open up this. Plus work. So I'm just gonna open up Zarkin and just quickly and see how I did it in there. So hold on. Just bear with me a minute, guys. Uh, events. Player events. Yeah, this is all for banning and everything. We'll get into that later on. Uh, you probably won't actually. Yeah, okay. So, yep, yeah, this is settings manager. Okay. So, just bear with me. I'm just going to do this quickly here. Actually, why not copy all of it? Because why the hell not? What, what am I even doing? Yeah, okay, that is what I'm doing. So we're just gonna close this all up here, then switch workspace, P workspace, and then load this back up here. Go on, quicker eclipse, you can do it. Right, okay. MOTD, oh it's already open, but I'm gonna open up the packages anyway. And then go ahead, replace all of this with this. We're gonna change this to MOTD dash message. And then new player message. Um, I don't see why we can't keep it as that, just for simplicity, but, you know, me being me, I'm going to be awkward, and now MOTD, MSG, because why the hell not, replace all, boom, boom, message is apparently never used, we're going to change that, uh, p dot send message, uh, message, because hopefully that now works and if it doesn't I'm going to cry like 2,000 times over because it's supposed to work because it works in Zalcon Essentials so reload we're going to try this again please work, no it doesn't, why? what is wrong? there's nothing wrong what the hell? Um, that is pretty awkward hmm That's actually not working. Um, I can't even think why it wouldn't work now. So you get in the correct string because it's MOTD message, which I'm just going to copy just to. Oh, hold on, guys. Just bear, just bear with me a minute. Oh my god, please don't say this is why. Right, okay, so we're just going to go ahead, go into downloads. Um, plugin testing server, plugins. Uh, no, it's not even there, is it? No, it's on P drive, isn't it? Server plugins, MOTD config dot YML. We're just gonna yeah. So this just basically where it absolutely cried it, cried, cried, cried like a thousand times over. So all we're gonna do is just that. Then we're just gonna re-export it because I want the config to save again what's wrong? No, oh, it's just that, it's fine no, ok, finish, yes, ok so we're gonna go ahead, reload and then we're gonna join the server again hope it works yes, there we go guys so it was just because uh, you need to surround the message in air quotes otherwise it's not gonna work so, yeah so that's basically the semi-advanced MOTD plugin, I don't see how it's advanced, but if it helps, then it helps, but 
So that's basically just customizable MOTD. So, oh my god, I'm tired as. But I am just gonna leave it off here. It's been ten minutes, which isn't very long for a good episode, I guess. Because I hope you've learned something about configuration. I will go. I'll probably go through next time. Actually, Joe, you know I'm gonna go through that now. I'm gonna go through how to set it, which I don't see why I haven't done already. So under this event handler, you're gonna to want to go public. But actually, I'm just gonna do this myself. I can't be bothered to read it out because you guys should know this by now. We're four, or five episodes in with this one, so you should really know. Oh no, not double. Then, boom. And of course, return false. There we go. So if cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case um set motd at mod set mod no set motd there we go then check something what was I gonna check oh yeah we're not gonna check anything we're just gonna go we're just gonna work with string builders because why the hell not string builder sb equals new string builder Okay, and then we're gonna want to do four int i equals zero. I is less than args dot length. I plus plus. So I did. I'm not. I'm not gonna blame you guys if you really get stuck with string builders because I certainly did. I just didn't remember the for loop because I was new to Java, but now I know it. It's pretty good. It's really useful. String builders are really, really useful. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do sb dot append args i plus boom boom. So that's that. Now string s equals sb dot two string boom. Now um, get config dot set. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna strat set motd dash message to uh, s. There we go. So that's done now, and then we're also going to want to save config and reload it, because who the hell wouldn't reload it as well? Basically, reloading just takes out the service memory, just forgets it, and then brings back the new one, which is pretty good. So that's set MTD. We're just going to want to create a quick command to get the uh, just view the MOTD, which is just going to do. Uh, String MOTD equals get config dot get string MOTD dash message and then why the hell don't we just copy all this and waste that code that we've just done? So basically, yep, that's it. And then we're just gonna change this to sender. Uh that's something wrong. Oh yeah, that's wrong. Sender. Okie dokie then, so that is done, we're going to want to re register our commands, I'm just going to do it outside because I'm just getting annoyed with it now. So, um, set MOTD description allows you to set the MOTD in game, view MOTD description uh, sends you the current MOTD done deal deal done so we're going to want to export this oh actually you're going to want to refresh it then export jar file by the way to refresh it either click F F5 or you can right click and refresh somewhere there so yeah now we're just going to want to hit reload and then we're going to want to oh actually that wasn't part of it we, we didn't have to do that set only to D and a hey percent player percent so it doesn't send a message that it has been done but it's been done yep there you go that's how you know it's been done and that's the only thing it's gonna add a space there but now we're just gonna disconnect my server please work yep hey Zarkon so there you go guys that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. The only limitation is that you can't go all the way, you can't like put too much in the MOTD because obviously chat limits. So set MOTD. 
Hey, percent player percent. My name is console. What is yours? Hold on. Uh, so, my name is console. How are you today? So you can set really long messages like that and they would still work. Look, it gets set straight to it and just to show you, it does work. There you go. Hey Zircon, my name is Console, how are you today? So you can't use like masses of colour or anything, but um, yeah. So I highly recommend that you check out the old videos. I'm not going to link them in the description because there's just too many. Because we've got four episodes already now. So yeah. Um, code will be in the description of the video as per usual. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, feel free hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Until next time, bye!